Lesson 166. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. Hi there. Are you ready to discover the amazing gifts that God has given you, but you may not be aware of them yet? Let's dive in. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. All things are given to us. God trusts us completely and knows us so well that He gives us everything we need to be happy. But here's the thing, if our will is not one with His, we won't be able to fully receive His gifts. So, why would we think our will is different from His? Now, here's something fascinating. The world we see is not God's will, which means it's not real. But if we believe it's real, we end up believing there's another will, one that is different from God's, leading to opposite effects. That's impossible. Yet, those who believe in the reality of this world are actually believing in two creators or only in themselves. But never in one God. If we hold on to these strange beliefs, we may struggle to fully accept the gifts of God. It's as if we think accepting His gifts would betray ourselves. So instead, we deny their existence, go against the truth, and suffer to hold on to the world we made. We start to believe that this world is our only home, the only place where we feel safe. We may even feel like outcasts, homeless, and afraid without it. But what we don't realize is that it's here, in this world, where we truly feel afraid and homeless. We have wandered so far from our true home that we've forgotten where we came from, where we are going, and even who we truly are. Yet, even in this lonely and confused state, God's gifts are always with us, even if we don't realize it. We can't lose them. But we fail to see what has been given to us. Instead, we continue to wander, feeling the futility all around us, perceiving that everything becomes less important as we move toward nowhere. We may feel miserable and poor, even though God is with us. But the truth is, we have a treasure so immense that everything in the world is worth nothing compared to it. In this state of mind, we may look sad, tired, and worn out as if we're wearing clothes that are falling apart. Our feet may even bleed from the rocky roads we walk. Many of us can relate to feeling defeated and hopeless. But guess what? We don't have to be so tragic. The path we followed was the one we chose. All we need is to realize this and recognize that the one walking with us is opening up his treasures for us. That sad person we identify with is the self we created as a replacement for reality. We fiercely defend this self, even against all reason. Despite evidence that proves it's not who we truly are, we ignore those signs. We continue on our path, avoiding the truth that could set us free from self-deception. We may even fear feeling Christ's gentle touch on our shoulder and perceive His gentle hand directing us to look upon our gifts. But guess what? He would make us laugh at our perception of being poor and in exile. How can we indulge in self-pity then? What happened to all the tragedy we used to dwell upon, whereas God only wants us to have joy? Now, Christ's hand has touched our shoulder, and we feel that we are not alone. We start to question if the miserable self we once believed in is our true identity. Could it be that God's Word holds more truth than our own? Perhaps His gifts to us are real after all. Perhaps God has not been fooled by our plan to keep His Son in oblivion, while we wander without our true self. The will of God does not oppose, it simply is. God has no knowledge of our plan to lose our true self. He didn't understand the need that led us astray. But, He has provided us with an answer, and that's all we need. We don't require anything more than this answer. Now, we can truly live because we cannot die. The wish for death has been answered. We realize that we're not what we pretended to be. God walks with us, gently answering all our fears with one merciful response. It is not so. He reminds us of the gifts we have and used to have, even when we felt poor, lonely, and afraid. But He also reminds us of something important we forgot. His touch has made us like Himself. The gifts we have are not meant for us alone. We must learn to share what we have received from God. This is the lesson God wants us to learn. He reminds us of all the gifts He has given us. When we accept these gifts, 
we understand that they are meant to be shared. These gifts have been entrusted to us, and it's our responsibility to give them to others who are still on the lonely path we have escaped from. They may not fully comprehend, but they continue to pursue their wishes. Now, it's our turn to teach them. We have learned from Christ that there is another way for them to walk. We can demonstrate the happiness that arises from feeling Christ's touch and recognizing the gifts from God. Let's not allow our sorrow to make us betray the world. Our sighs will betray the hopes of those who look to us for their freedom. Our tears are theirs. If we are sick, we withhold their healing. If we fear, we teach them that their fears are justified. However, when we extend our hands as bearers of Christ's touch, our transformed mindset becomes proof that those who accept God's gifts will never endure suffering. We hold the key to the world's liberation from pain. Let's not betray the world. Let's become the living proof of what Christ's touch can do for everyone. Let's show the transformative power of the gifts God has given to us. Let's demonstrate how our minds have been renewed through their acceptance. This is our mission now. Because God entrusts the task of sharing His gifts to all who have received them. He has shared His joy with us, and now it's time to share it with the world. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. What do you think of that? How will your life change once you become aware of the incredible gifts that God has entrusted to you? You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks! And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.